Hi everyone, it's Matt, teen librarian at the Kinderhook Memorial Library, here with a special video brought to you by Band Books Week. So what is Band Books Week? Well, Band Books Week is a week that we celebrate usually at the beginning of October to acknowledge the fact that we in America have the freedom to read basically whatever we want and uh, the government isn't allowed to stand in our way. You may have heard of a little thing called the First Amendment of the Constitution that guarantees us freedom of speech and freedom of the press. So basically, uh, the government can't tell you what you can and cannot say, and they can't tell you what you cannot print, uh, which is obviously a very big deal when it comes to some of the books that we have in our libraries. Now, while our government isn't allowed to ban books outright, what you'll see a lot is uh, what they call challenging of books. So you'll see this a lot in schools where, um, people will challenge the content of a book and it's up to the school to decide whether they are going to keep the book as part of their class or library or whether they're going to remove it, which is a form of censorship. Now you may be surprised to learn that some of the most commonly challenged books are some of the classics that you've probably heard of. Things like Catch on the Ride, 1984, The Color Purple, um, To Kill a Mockingbird. These have all been challenged in certain schools across the country and in some cases even removed from the curriculum or the library which doesn't allow students to read these books that they should be allowed to read. So the point of Banned Books Week is really to draw attention to some of these uh, forms of censorship and really discourage people from uh, calling for books to be banned. Whether or not you agree with the content, it's really not meant to be anybody else's choice but the individual. The I mentioned earlier that there are a lot of classics that have been challenged and removed from schools across the country, but you might be surprised to learn of some more modern uh, classics that have been challenged and removed as well. Um, first one I want to talk about is The Golden Compass um, by Philip Pullman. This one has been extremely controversial because it calls into question certain, well, it doesn't even call into question. It has a lot of religious overtones to it, and some of them are very controversial. Another one that uh, probably won't surprise you because you've probably heard about it before, but the whole entire Harry Potter series um, has been called into question for witchcraft and satanic messages and, and whatnot. The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas is uh, another recent one that has stirred up the ire because people view it as anti-police when it's actually not in fact anti-police, but it's actually just anti-racism. There are also a lot of children's books that uh, may be called this question. So Junie B. Jones um, is a big series, a lot of you have probably read it, um, that has been challenged and removed because it encourages disobedience, apparently. Not to be shortchanged, uh, Captain Underpants, a classic banned book just because I think it's a little silly and people don't think that children should be really reading silly things. It's, I don't really understand it. I would never actually challenge a book. Um, we have the freedom to read whatever we like. Uh, what you like to read isn't what I like to read and vice versa. And that's okay because we all have preferences and we all have likes and dislikes and our own belief system. And in our country, in America, we are not allowed to tell other people what they should be thinking or what they shouldn't be thinking. So Banned Books Week, Banned Books Week helps draw attention to the fact that we have this freedom to read in our country and um, other places around the world might not be so fortunate. So we really should be, you know, appreciative of what we've been given. Um, so, with that said, I encourage you all to go out and read a band book. In fact, the more band it is, the more you should want to read it, just to see what's so controversial. It's all part of thinking for yourself and forming your own opinions, and maybe you won't like it. Um, you know, Catcher in the Rye is one of the most banned books, uh, or has been classically one of the most banned books since it was published in the 50s. Um, a lot of people don't like it, and that's okay. You know, it's, it's important to know what's, what the controversy is, why people don't like it. Um, you know, it's not encouraging you to read books that you don't like, it's encouraging you to read books that you do like, uh, regardless of what other people say about them. So, um, if you take any message from this video, it's read banned books, read whatever you want, read, uh, you know, romances, read action, read horror, read stupid, silly Captain Underpants books, it's totally up to you. So if you've read any of these oh-so-controversial uh, challenged books, let us know in the comments below, and uh, happy Banned Books Week!